Hello. Here you're going to have a reenactment based on the six girls. Hey, what's your name? Um, I'm Fluttershy. Hey, hey, Blossom Forth, check this out. What is it, Feather May? Oh, look at this little shy girl. Oh, you little Fluttershy. You don't know how to talk, do you? Huh? Go get a personality. Huh? <laughs> Oh, the poor little baby's gonna cry. <laughs> oh, oh, what a baby. But what her classmates and the girls who bullied her didn't know is that poor Samantha was often bullied at her home. She was constantly bullied. She was often bullied, threatened, and abused by her mother and her stepfather. Her mother, her mother attacked her and blamed her for ruining her life. You worthless bitch! <laughs> you ruined my life. My life was just fine until you came into the world, you little bitch. <laughs> By the time she was 15, she was self-conscious. Things got even worse when her father came home. When her father came home, he didn't really like taking care of Samantha. He would often leave her in the basement all day. Her mother tolerated this. I'm leaving her in the basement. <sighs> Thank God. I guess now I can finally have some fun. Okay. But by the time Samantha's half-sister was born, things got even worse. They didn't really like Samantha anymore. They hardly pay attention to her and they abuse her. They often beaten her and starved her to death. Everybody uh, buddy didn't like Samantha. Everybody hated her. Her only friends were the animals that she rescued. At least you guys like me, right? However, her parents would tell her to get rid of these animals because they didn't like them. She was forced to get rid of these animals by her parents. <laughs> Samantha later committed suicide by taking a dose of pills. Everybody hates me. My family hates me. My mother hates me. My, I bet my sister even hates me. My father hates me. The kids at school hate me. Nobody loves me. You know, I bet that if I take these pills, they'll make me better. I'll be able to go to a place where I'm loved. A place where I won't have to deal with this. <laughs> she died by an overdose of suicide pills. The next girl was Jancy Walters. Jancy Walters was a rich, smart, and beautiful girl who will be played by Rarity and reenacted by Rarity. She was rich, smart, beautiful, and an expert in fashion. She was also very popular and loved by most of the girls. Oh my gosh, Rarity, your dress is so beautiful. You are like such a star. Um, thank you. I'm a fashion expert. That's just what I do. Oh my gosh, she is so cool. I wish I was just like her. A lot of people thought that her life was a nice, charming life. They didn't really think anything bad about her. However, what they didn't know is that her parents was, were constantly fighting at home. How could you do that to me? How could you just do that? Well, it's not my fault I need to get some money to pay for the kids. Come on, I needed that money for my job, for to get a new suit. Who freaking cares about your suit? What about the kids? about the family? What about the... the, the, the... 
why? Why do my parents keep arguing? What's wrong with me? What is wrong? Why, why won't, won't they just get along? <laughs> because of this, her parents constantly argued and were really only there together for appearances. She was later held up in high standard, which made her a perfectionist. Because of this, she really wanted to be a fashion designer and live in Paris. Oh, Mom, Dad, please, can I be a fashion designer and live in Paris? Please, please, please. But her parents told her no. Sorry, honey, you can't stay. You can't go to Paris. You have to stay here in Carolina. Yeah. And they also want her to marry a proper rich man. For the most part, her parents ignored her. And the only thing that they were concerned about was being rich in high social standards. In reality, the whole reason why her mother married her father in the first place is because they needed the money. And they were already losing money very fast. This is what drove her to be a fashion expert. She mainly designed her own clothes so that she could look like as if she was wealthy and fashionable, when in reality, she wasn't. Later, she died in a car crash. The cause of the car crash was because her parents kept arguing. Her neck snapped and she died instantly. This is the performance of the car crash. They, her parents were arguing of money. Come on, we need more money to feed the kids. Who freaking cares about the kids? I care about the kids. With her neck being snapped, she died instantly. She was clearly the inspiration for Rarity. The next girl was Alexandra Matthews, which will be reenacted by Rainbow Dash. Originally, her father didn't really like her. He actually wanted a son, but her mother told her that she was not able to give birth to another child. Okay, honey, look. I know that you want a son, and I know that you really, really want a son to take care of and play sports with, but I just can't have another child. I'm really, really sorry. Okay, I understand. Because of this, since he knew that her mother was never able to give birth to another son for a child, he then just took his daughter and treated her like the son that he always wanted. He played sports with her, and she, in the end, she was inspired and wanted to become a major athlete. And not, not only that, but she also loved her parents. She loved her father and her mother very much. Not only that, but she was also happy to play sports with her father. This made her exceed and make her really, really popular. There I go! The number one star athlete, Rainbow Dash, once again! Whoa! Cool! You are so popular! You're so cool, Rainbow Dash! I wish I was just as athletic as you! You are so cool! And not only that, by the time that she was in high school, she thought of being an athletic scout's colleges for all over the country. This made her try out even harder. <clears throat> Uh, I'm gonna be the best. I'm gonna be the best athletic pony ever. Uh, uh, uh. Man, I can't wait. Soon I'll go to the Olympics. It's gonna be so awesome. But, however that changed, by the time she was 15, her mother gave born to a new baby son. And after that, her parents didn't really pay attention to that, her that much anymore. Mom, Dad, you're never going to believe it. Today, I scored soccer so hard and it was so cool. Wow, Billy, we are so proud of you. Yes, son, we're so proud of you, Billy. Hey, Mom, Dad, guess what I did? Okay, I was in the soccer field and... Oh, um, we're sorry, Rainbow Dash. You're going to have to tell us later. Billy was just telling us this wonderful story and how he'd go in the soccer field. Yeah, it's okay. You can talk to them later. Oh, okay. So anyways, they are never going to pay attention to me. 
which is why I should be even more determined to succeed. She ended up pushing herself so hard on track that she neglected her friends, her health, and everything. Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! I'm sorry, I'm too busy in track right now! Rainbow Dash! Um, Rainbow Dash, we're sorry to tell you, but you're having lots of problems with your health. Maybe you should stop. Huh! As if I'm going to stop. I'm never going to stop because of some stupid heart problem. She became so desperate that she started taking steroids. <laughs> Maybe if I take these steroids, I'll become even stronger. Awesome. Pew. But what the family didn't know is that by taking these steroids, it made her heart even weaken. And it made her heart weaker and weaker and weaker. One day, that made her heart so weak that she ended up collapsing during a match. She ended up dying in the hospital. A few days later in the show, Rainbow Dash seems the most popular. The next girl is Jamie Sanders, which will be reenacted by Applejack. Jamie Sanders was your typical farm girl. The only one thing about her that's interesting compared to all the other farm girls is that her farm was actually run down and that she was difficult and losing lots of money. She oftentimes worked on odd jobs to help raise the money and support the family. She had many brothers and sisters. She was the second which meant that it was up to her to take care of the youngins, which mean that she never had any time to hang out with her friends. She also had she also never had any time to do her homework. And she also had barely any time to do some fun activities with her friends. She also had an aunt whom her family from Manhattan was based off, who kept offering to have give her money and support her mother and father. Don't worry, I'll give you guys money and hopefully things will work out better. I don't really know if things are going to work out better. Things have been hard, aunt. Family's been struggling. I can barely have time to hang out with my friends. I've been taking care of Apple Bloom. Never really had lots of time in my life. But despite that, the aunt tried her best to give all the money, her mother and her father would always refuse because they were too proud of themselves. That was until the father died from a heart attack in 1987. Her mother also later died as well because she killed herself from the stress of having to take care of so many kids. I can't take it anymore. I, ha I have to take care of, of Applejack and Apple Bloom and, and all the other kids. So so much. I need to end it right now. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Applejack, Apple Bloom. Please forgive me. They were later then taken by a grandmother who was incapable of taking care of them. Jamie tried her best. She tried working hard for the family, but she later died from a wood chip. But she later died from a wood chipper accident. Let me get the wood and no, no, my hoof is stuck. No. And here's the next girl. Warning: This story may be the saddest out of all of them. Here we have Katherine Jackson, which will be reenacted by Pinkie Pie. Catherine was really young. She was about five years old. It all happened when her father killed her mother and himself. Why are you doing this to us? What are you doing? I have to do it. No. I just, I'm a murderer. No, I, I can't take it. No. Daddy. Mommy! He put himself in quite a rage when she was five, 
and because of that, she could never find herself into such a good home. Daddy! Mommy! No! And she was never quite able to go in a good home. Some of the foster families would treat her badly and they would refuse to clothe her or feed her. Oh, Daddy, can you feed, can you feed me? No. Can you give me some clothes? No. They would refuse to feed her or clothe her merely because they only wanted the child for financial support. Even when she was later adopted and was raised by a good family, a nice family that loved her and supported her, she still had nightmares. She had nightmares of her mother's bleeding and her father coming to her, getting a knife, claiming that she is the next one to go down, getting nightmares from the sight of it. And it seems as if the old memories will haunt her for her life and will never leave her. By the time she was in high school, she completely snapped. Most of the teachers and the students thought that she was trying to be funny, when really, she was scared. Hey Pinky, what's up? Pink, blue, polka dots everywhere, everywhere I see. What? They're everywhere on the ground. The blood, the blood, it's the wonderful shade of red. Must go save mommy, protect mommy, must love mommy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hilarious. I know, right? That was so funny. <laughs> Man, Pinky is such a jokester trying to act like she's insane. <laughs> the prayers will show that more and more poor Catherine is losing it. She is completely snapping. She would oftentimes draw pictures and write about fascinating natural things. Like this, for example. Hey, Cheerly! Look at the wonderful drawing I made! Okay, Pinky, and... Oh! Wow, that's... Nice! What is it? It's a Gungazel and Dragon! I made it myself! It's just so wonderful, isn't it? Um... Yes, it's... Great, Pinky. She would also dress up in over-the-top clothing. Hey, girls! Look at my clothing! Isn't it just fabulous? Um, yeah, it is. I call the Bubble Wobbler. It's the best fashion choice in the world, isn't it? <laughs> more and more, the poor thing was losing it, and it, the condition was getting worse and worse. Later, she died from jumping off a building. One of the voices in her head had told her that she could fly. Jump. Jump off the cliff. No! I'll die! But you can fly. You have big, wonderful wings. You've just never noticed them. You need to let them out, fly, and feel something that nobody else has felt before. Jump and fly. Yes! I'll do it! Yes! The next and the last girl is Sina Little, which will be reenacted by Twilight Sparkle. Sina Little was a student who was held up to high standards from a young age. Her older brother was always good at athletics and achievements, and she was also held up to the same high standard. In the end, she ended up neglecting other fact advantages of life in order to make sure that she got the best of grades. For a while, this worked. Her parents were proud of their accomplishments. Man, man, honey, not only do we have one genius son, but a genius daughter. This is so great. And their parents also bragged to their friends and how both of their ch children were very smart and successful. She later then became interested in a new school for the gifted and started to become interested in, in it, among the other several advanced students. She knew that this would be the best opportunity that she could have to prove herself as the perfect child. Maybe, just maybe, if I go to the school and show my smarts, I will prove myself to be the perfect child. 
but despite the fact that she thought it would be great to go to this new school, she was very high pressure because there were so little spots for her to be able to go to the school. And she had to take a test. She was so worried on it. She was so worried that she ended up not sleeping or eating. And she also ended up cheating. Her parents found this out and they were horrified. She felt so bad that she wasn't a perfect child and sunk in a deep depression that she ended up hanging herself. This is a representation of what happened. I can't believe it! I need to do that test! I know, I'll just cheat the copy. Yes, everything's going good. Twilight, how could you cheat? Cheating is wrong. I know, I'm sorry. How could this happen? I ruined your life. I'm just so bad. I know, I need to hang myself. Twilight, don't do it. I'm an imperfect daughter and you should feel bad. This is the only way I'll do my, my sorrow. <laughs> Although, you must be wondering, why would Lauren Foss be inspired to make a sweet little children's show by such depressing events? Perhaps she had an odd need to give these girls closure, or perhaps to tell her stories in a way that she could. Think about it. In the episode named The Cutie Mark Chronicles, each pony describes of how they each earn one's cutie mark. Rainbow Dash, who was able to make a sonic rain boom on the same day for all the girls to see and how to make them be able to earn one's cutie marks, clearly makes you tend to wonder about each girl's death in real life and the same day. And in the show, Fluttershy is able to take care of the animals that she adores. Rarity is a successful fashion designer with loving parents. Pinkie Pie is happy and without a care in the world. Applejack is a successful farmer. Twilight Sparkle was accepted into an exclusive school. Maybe, just maybe, she wanted to give the spirits of these girls what they always wanted. And I think they're happy. Woo! Yeah, everybody. Woo! Bow down, bow down. With Apple Bloom as the random youngin. Princess Cadence as Pinkie Pie's mom who died. Scootaloo as the son who replaced Rainbow Dash. Sweetie Belle as Fluttershy's half-sister. Posey as Fluttershy's abusive mother. mother. Sky Wishes as Rarity's mother. Pinkie Pie as the girl who died. Rarity as the other girl who died. Rainbow Dash as Alexandra. Fluttershy as the girl who died, Applejack as the other girl who died, Twilight Sparkle as Kathleen Little, Firefly as Rainbow Dash's mom, Feather Man Blossom Forth as the random girls, Shining Armor as all the dads and that one brother, Cheerilee as Pinkie Pie's teacher, Lyra as Applejack's aunt. Woo! Bow down. That was the play of the six girls who died replaced with all of My Little Pony characters. I hope you liked it. We all worked really hard on it. Hope you enjoyed.